Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video we are going to do a tutorial on the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator and we're going to talk about how to use the y equals feature and specifically we're going to graph a linear function. So we'll go ahead and turn the calculator on and it brings us to our home screen. So the first thing we want to do is hit y equals and that brings us to um, a screen where we're able to type in functions to be graphed. So with a linear equation, we want to use uh, something in slope-intercept form because we are starting with y equals. So we want y equals mx plus b. Um, and so let's say, for example, we want to graph the equation 2x plus 5. Okay? So you're going to type your 2 in first, and you need your variable x. So one thing that um, I see a lot is students will use the multiplication x. That is not the x we want to use. Um, if we look at this button right here, we see an X, we see a T, we see the Greek symbol theta, and we see an N. That is right next to the math button. So if we click that right there, that'll give us the variable X that we need to use. And plus five. So any operation that we're doing, plus or, or uh, minus, we can use our subtraction here. And now we simply hit the graph button and the calculator will graph it for us. Okay, so if you want to go back and type in another equation, hit y equals and it'll take you back to your screen. And um, if you want to do two equations at once, um, let's say you want to do an equation with a negative. Okay, so one thing I notice um, once again that we have um, a lot of students that will find the subtraction key here and try and use that. Uh, but this is our negative button down here at the bottom. So if we want to do a negative slope, we hit the negative key. Let's say we want to do negative 3x and then minus, so we would do the subtraction key on that one, and let's say minus 4, okay? So we hit graph again, and then it will graph our second function there, all right? So to clear that, we should hit clear, and that will take us back to our original screen. Um, one thing I will also show you, if we hit y equals, and let's say we want to clear off everything there, if you're in y equals and you're trying to get back to your home screen just to do some basic calculating, notice when I hit clear, nothing happens, right? So in order for you to get back to your home screen, go ahead and hit graph, and then it'll bring up your coordinate plane, and at this point you can hit the clear button and it'll take you back to your home screen, okay? So there's a little bit about how to graph a linear function on the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator.